Hi, Juice Ravens here, back with another video of Persona 4 Golden. So, when we last left off, uh, well, we managed to awaken our Persona. Now we have this new menu, where we can see our Persona is Sanagi, which is actually the god of Japan, if I am not mistaken. Uh, just give me a little sec to check something. Yeah. Oop, to check something real quick. Uh, wait a minute, it was F? Yeah, it was F. Okay, how can... Um, oh, alright, well, I can't see his lore yet, but um, we'll see later. So, yeah. And right, right now, uh, well, how are you doing, Nanako? It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. <laughs> that, that it is. I wish I would have more people washing the dishes in my home. Is there anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Yep, no, I'm just straight up to sleep. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should watch him um, to, uh, to your room and check the TV. Watch TV in your room, of course. Yep. Let's see if anyone else appears on the TV. Who might the next victim? Maybe. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? We'll see, I guess. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Mmm. Yeah, that's bad, considering what we learned. Just the region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Yeah, this is is this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a big big problem. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The t oh, they might they mean to skip that. Oh, there's the midnight channel. The image is there. Is there again? It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. Yep, I see it appear. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Gee, I do wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. Uh, I have no idea who could have possibly been. Like, uh, it's not like uh, just recently we saw some girl with a kimono. They just talked to us and talked about she ain't. No, not sir. It's not like we talked to anyone like that. And, even, and the chef also appear on the TV news. It's not like anything of that happened. I, I cannot even possibly have any idea who it might be. <laughs> the image is so out, of, it's out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Uh, well, well, they, they had to give it the, the mystery some uh, somehow. What will happen if you touch the image on the Midnight Channel? Will you be able to touch the person on the screen? Well, he goes through. The image disappeared. Hmm. You should speak to Josuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Hmm. How curious. Ah. Hey. This is. Welcome. Oh, hello there, Igor! Long time no see. I finally found your avatar on, on VR chat, and I am happy. You have very bulgy eyes. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. I have yeah. summoned you within your dreams. What part of that should I not be alarmed, Igor? <laughs> what part of that should I not be alarmed? It seems you've been summoned to the velvet room. And so we meet again. Mm -hmm. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Mm -hmm. And now that I finally have a persona, I am I, I, I have finally signed the final part of the contract. So now I may be a permanent resident. Well, as before, they were they were warning me that I will have this contract. In your daily life. You subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. And that's how I awaken Isanagi. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Mm-hmm. 
Hold on to this. Oh. A key. Obtain valid key. Nice. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. So now I may come and come in and out as I please. Your basically. destiny will require you to hone your power. Mm. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Yeah, I can make personas on my own. Like I, I can fuse on my own. There is but one prize for this assistance. How much? You must abide by your contract oh, right. and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Well, that's terrible because I make a lot of terrible decisions sometimes in these type of types of games. But since I know that there are a lot of extra days, maybe not. Who knows? I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired mm -hmm. it's an it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Mm. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you yeah. wear to face various difficulties in life. Okay, so basically Sanagi, the god of Japan. The fa so in that way, the, my facade, uh, the facade in this case should be like... Uh, well, Isanagi was uh, somewhat very determined to save his wife from the underworld. And in a way, he also, well, was determined to save a thousand lives while Isan well, uh, well, Isanami will kill, what was it? Uh, also a thousand lives per, uh, per year, and that's the origin of why people die and and, and, are, and people die every day and born and also are born every day. Uh, yeah, so basically my, uh, the facade will be like the, um, the facade of a leader, someone determined to to well to, st uh, to reach a goal. So I'm very determined, basically a leader. And also uh, no, uh, also will not stop. Uh, well, will not stop at nothing to save someone. Yeah, I think that that will summarize the the character pretty well. Well, well, in this case, the main character, and um, I mean after myself, just Ravens, uh, maybe well, a slow insert in, in, in some sort. The answers that y y that you well, that you give, well, that, that you can give, and also well, thanks to the. Thanks to the Persona for anime, um, but basically you can see what, what his personality is like. Very, basically the personality of a leader, someone that well, what I just described. It's, that's basically his personality. So it's very, it's very curious that basically with um, well, how the, the Persona that that one gets is basically based off on the personality of the wearer, well, of the personality of the on the person. So yeah, yeah it, it, this, this is why I like the, the series a lot. It has a lot of symbolism. Well, it's not of some symbolism and also not, not very subtle sometimes, but when you dig into it, it really, it, there is a lot of things going on. Oh, and also, in terms of the anime of, the, of Persona 4, I recommend more the, the Persona 4 original anime, well, the gold, because the golden one is just has some extra fluff and it's basically just a spin-off. Doesn't really add much to it aside from some backstories that I won't mention. But yeah, um, I, I would really recommend check the game Persona 4 anime out if you don't want to play the game. It's really good. Your Persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Mm -hmm. It is that like is. the number zero. Empty, mm. yet holding infinite potential within itself. Mm -hmm. And the arcana of Isanagi is the flow, which uh, resembles the, uh, which is the zero arcana, uh, and, and also is the one that resembles the well, uh, supposed to um, to say the, uh, the fool's journey, which is quite well, um, well he. Uh, uh, what is the word for this? Uh, it fits the the theme of this game, the fool's journey. Basically, the the journey of the protagonist throughout this whole game, in, in searching for for the truth. It really fits. Special or empty? Uh, special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart, mm. and the heart is strengthened through bonds. 
And this is why um, I had uh, uh, well, I awakened Izanagi without having having to face my own shadow, because since I am the wild card, I have I already had control on my own heart, and uh, basically not having any well shadows around me. So yeah, that, that that is a very interesting point that I haven't that, that that I just now realized now that I'm playing it again. I mean, well, the, the times that I have played it. Um, I really didn't know much English. Uh, English. I just was. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just going based off the voice acting. But now reading this again, now that I'm playing it, now I, yeah, uh, basically, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I know I'm repeating myself, but it's, it's very, co it's very cool. It's very cool to see this. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others. Your own social links will gradually develop. Oh god, socializing. My worst nightmare. <laughs> I am not very very good at socializing, but I always I always try to to do my best. The power of these social hmm. links is what will determine your persona's abilities. <laughs> so basically, uh, make friends and <laughs> you make friends and if you keep at it, you're becoming more powerful. Basically, the power of friendship, literally. I best I literally have the power of friendship. It's not a it's not a coursey a coursey cliche power. It is literally the power of friendship. The main power. It's it's not something bullshit, it's basically it, 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 friendship is basically my power. There is it, it, Yeah. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. Hmm. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Yeah, uh, that I I know because of some things. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? Mm, well, maybe in a lot of breakups in Valentine in this game because I know that exists. Something that wasn't in the original game, uh, because in the original game we only had a Christmas event and also a festival event, and that was it. There were only two events. But hey, now with this, uh, there are a lot, a lot more events, which I will be happy to well do. Now that I'm finally playing this game, Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, it's weird though. I have played Persona 4 a lot, but Persona 4 Golden never. <laughs> I have never played Persona 4 Golden, now, and now that it's in PC, I, I finally look quit. forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> <laughs> Till we meet again. <laughs> Till we meet again. I bid you farewell, Igor. Ah, white mod. <laughs> white mod, light mod. I, I mean, uh, rainy day. Or rainy night in the night, or your. Yo! Oh. Hey, Yosuke. You saw what was on last night, right? Yep, someone appeared. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. All right, she exists. <laughs> if it turns out someone <laughs> was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Yeah. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. Yeah. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Hell yeah, Yosuke. I'm with you, buddy. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Okay, then again, Yosuke, we can just show it to them. But, animal logic, so... <laughs> I... We can bring that up. We can bring that into, into the picture. Um, let's, let's bring an end to this. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. But, but, huh. So, yeah, because you, you now have a persona. And I, though I, I did it without a persona first, but that is basically because I, well, thanks to Oh shit! Well, I will blur that out. I will blur that name out 
and not speak of it. I think I can do that now because uh, I have the spoilers. same power. I will, I will grow that out. Persona, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Debatable. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. Mm -hmm. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. I mean, if someone gave us our give us this power uh, to <laughs> save people, why is there a culprit with the same power as us doing this? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's do our best. It's something else. But hey, that's for later. Even with so much mystery swirling around, just keeps trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Josuke. And there we go. The magician social link arcana. Thou art thy, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician arcana. Oh, how much do I miss this? As you form a bond with Josuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's, Igor's work. The persona ability is the power hmm. to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Yep. You gotta make friends. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Mm -hmm. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Yeah. Social links. Is this bond with Josuke what Igor was talking about? But not only Josuke. You have established the Josuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Josuke's determination bow has been enhanced. You can now wake up a, a knockdown ally during battle. <laughs> you know, in, in the original game, the, the first ability that you can get uh, from level uh, when you get Josuke is actually uh, well, that they, they will take a fatal blow for you. Basically, they will die for you, in a way. So, yeah, they, I, I think the, the developers uh, still ask a real weird thing as... Uh, whoa, whoa, we can't just have them, well, take a fatal blow just at the start of the social link, right? It's, it's really weird. So instead, they now put the <laughs> knockdown ally thingy now. The, um, this was actually like in level 5 social arcana, or maybe 4, 3, I, I don't remember quite. But it was very late, the, 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 um, the knockdown ally thing. But <laughs> other rules though, it makes a little more a little more sense. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down and get back on their feet. Uh, this one, the original, this, this will basically say, uh, yeah, uh, uh, in battle, if you are, if the enemy is going to do an attack that is going to kill you, they will they will sacrifice. They will take the, that, that fatal blow for you. Pretty hardcore for just level 1 bond. <laughs> oh. Achie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Yeah, okay. At the very least, we apologize. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Hmm? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Hmm. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? Mm hmm? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Hmm. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Yeah, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> it was pretty obvious. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. Yeah, that's what I said. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Mm. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. Mm. You still haven't heard from her? No. You sum up the information you gain in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to be?
supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. Mm. We should check to see if she's safe first. Yeah. Give her another call. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you might never know. She might still be there just working. No good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not answering. Uh, are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Mm, maybe. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. Yeah, she yeah. wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. <laughs> yeah, obviously, because she would be working. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Yes, actually, I think she has. To, she has to skip school for that. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. And I remember this part of the anime was really tense. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I saw... Um, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, she's safe for now. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. Hmm. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. <laughs> she was totally fine. And you uh, were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chi. You, you gotta give Yosuke some credit. We were worried. After the sign. Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. Mm -hmm. Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Hey, yeah. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay, after school. You explained to Shane detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about <laughs> my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, basically, Yosuke cried like a bitch, and I, en I ended up saving his ass. Yeah, that, that was sums it up. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Mm hmm. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers uh, around. Right. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Mm-hmm. I got it. Come here a sec. Yeah. Not idea. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. Oh. Oh. A wall? That's yeah, pretty... pretty good. You try beckoning Teddy over. Hey, Teddy! You bitch! You fuck bitch! Ah. What's ah. wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Son of a bitch, bit me! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll, I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Wow, that looks like it hurt. Yes. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Yeah. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Is this a game? Hey there. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? The... <laughs> you bitch. Oh, the bear puns. You're lucky that I like. You're lucky that I like puns. You're lucky that I, that I like them. Shut it! <laughs> so there's no one inside? You're sure? Mm hmm. I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Hmm. Since you'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, 
I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll have to see What's you, Yosuke. I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchanged cell numbers with Yosuke. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Mm -hmm. Was it really Jukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Okay, okay. Oh. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. Hmm. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Yeah. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Uncle, for the last time, please. It's obvious that it's a homicide. Who the fuck hangs the body in a fucking telephone? Uh, okay. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Yeah, you tell him, Adachi. Uh, you tell him, Adachi. You know. You're more... You know. I know. Thank you. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. Hmm. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. <laughs> it's... It's not an if, Uncle. It's not an if. It is a murder case. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. Hmm. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Hmm, so yeah, it couldn't be her. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Mm hmm No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Hmm. He's been working in the city for the past six months. I see. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Uh. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Mm. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead. Ooh. He's been fired from his position as secretary. <laughs> That's bad. Imagine getting yourself out of out of your job just because of that. Uh, bye bye social like uh, bye bye economic stability. Ish. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. Yep. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. Uh, it could be. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Hmm. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Mm -hmm. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Oh. Is the story about the inn out already? Yeah. Okay, I got it. How's this? Mm hmm? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Hmm, nice uh, possibility. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. <laughs> <It's> detective! 
<laughs> oh, Zajima. I love you, but man, yeah, I mean, you, you was pretty obvious. Well, well, well no, well, not that, not that I think about it. I mean, I mean, in a way, you could say that it could be an outsider that came in, but the, but in the first place, that will there were already pointed pointed out, but him out, so I guess it, it, it couldn't be. Okay, yeah, yeah. At the very least, uh, that that he, but the has to be in Inaba. Yeah, I, I can see that that uh, 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 for at least being well a, a valid deduction that one can make. Yes, it is true that the, the, that that the, the that the killer could be from outside of town. Wow, oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> Okay. Welcome home. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> uh, this is what always bugs me. She says welcome home when in the dialogue she says welcome back. That will never cease to bug me. Okay. One. How? How? What is my time? Uh, how many have you have, have I been recording? How long have I been recording? Hmm... Yeah, may maybe a little more. Just a little more. Hey, just check the Midnight Channel tonight. Watch your TV in your room. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? We shall see. Oh, cutscene! Cutscene time! Oh. Good evening. Tonight, oh yeah, <laughs> I remember this. Has a big surprise. I remember this. I'm gonna this. go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a oh, Dream, boy. Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole <laughs> harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be I, all mine! I well, remember that when I was... <laughs> I remember that moment when I was... When I was little. I will always remember to watch out for my... That my parents were looking when I... When I was playing this part. I will always remember that because... <laughs> because of that, oh man, I still, uh, oh man, <laughs> that, that, that brings some <laughs> memories of being embarrassed, and also the, <laughs> the start of the game, uh, well, that was definitely tricky going on the midnight challenge just now, yep, oh, okay, this is no time for <laughs> to, to, to be laughing about that one, it, about my embarrassment as a kid, yes, that was Yukiko-san for sure, it looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. Mm hmm But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? <laughs> yeah, definitely weird, dude. And she looked definitely. like she was on some low-budget TV show. <laughs> was it like this before, too? <laughs> nope. But, man, you have a point there. You have a point a bit about, about being a low-budget TV show. What's going uh, on? Uh, break contact to you, Hijosuke. You have your hair number, right? You're right. Hmm. Tomorrow's yeah, Sunday, we don't have our numbers. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Mm hmm. E you promised to meet up with Yoskis tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> Something I definitely don't do. Oh, it's sunny. Hmm. There's oh, no one. Good here. morning. Morning, Naiko. How are you? It's just not only Nanako's here. Where's her father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Hmm. If you leave Nanako, uh, if you leave, Nanako will be all left alone to look after her house. Yeah, I wouldn't. Well, if if my if my little sister 
will be alone in the house. Yeah, I, I also will, wouldn't leave. I, I will never leave my little sister. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? Uh... I'll be fine by myself. <sighs> Man, Nanako is so... So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. Man, Nanako is so grow, grown up for, 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 for how... For how little she is. She, she, she's more mature than a lot of adults that I know. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. <laughs> God, Nanako. Uh, she's more mature than anyone I know. She's more mature than any freaking adult here. Uh. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Okay, okay. I hear you, okay. Man. Okay, I'll go out. Oh god. Uh, but do remember this. You will be... I will have your social link. Sorry for the holdup. Completed. That's a promise. I found some oh. stuff we can use in the closet at home. Huh? What did you find in your closet? Uh, a very golf club? Take a look at these. Oh. We've got our personas, <laughs> but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. Oh, um, are you sure you should put wiping those weapons out here in the middle of the food district? Well, in the food court, where there are a lot of people and also guards around here. So, which one strikes your fancy? Well, uh, personally, uh, the Naras, there are basically, well, uh, daggers will be my choice. But in, 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 in terms like this, uh, the, the katana also has a lot of reach. So uh, we'll choose the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. <laughs> this is a Juness exclusive. Ah, I see. The blade's fake, though. Oh. Ah. As for me... So it's an imitation. Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Both? Kind of like this? <laughs> oh my god. Well, he, in his bio, it says that he does indeed will dual weapons, so I guess this fits. Or like this! <laughs> Though having two blades, one longer than the other, is, it's not really good, you know? <laughs> what about this? Uh, okay, okay, just okay. I, I get your point, I get your point. Now watch out, watch out, we won't be fucked. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Yep. Yep, we are fucked, Yasuke. This is all your fault. Huh? And oh, why me? I didn't do anything. You, wh wh why am I a suspect? <laughs> Damn no, it. No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. Yasuke, that's not the problem. I guess that's not what matters. Yeah. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, just well, that doesn't sound you're, right either. <laughs> you're, you're not making our case any better. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Ugh, got that. Hands where I can see them too. But, but you're this okay. is a... Draw the weapons. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. God damn it. You yeah, were taken to the police station with your suspects. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, well, you know, in, in the anime, this was all. This was even even you didn't way seem funnier. The type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It wasn't my fault, though. It was just case. You know what's been going on around town? We got men stationed everywhere. Yeah. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. <laughs> We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Ah, uh, we have no weapons now. Great. I Wait, my so the one that though. disappeared is the Amagi girl? Oh. Seems uh -oh. like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Uh oh. That's a problem. Hey. Did he say Amagi? Then. She really is. Hmm. Hmm? Who's what now? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. Mm -hmm. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. 
but this better not happen again. Okay. Well, be careful. Oh. Whoa, pardon me. Hey, that she. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yep, I am. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? Mm -hmm. It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? Oh, 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 okay. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Hmm. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. Huh. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. Yeah, fair enough. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Huh? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Uh. It seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. What are you implying, Yudachi? The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? What are you implying, Yudachi? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Hadachi. Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Oh my god, are you implying that, she, that she's the murderer? Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Yes, you did go too far, buddy. Adachi, what uh, the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> yeah, shut up, Adachi. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Uh, Alright. But god damn it. She's not a she's not a she's, she's not a suspect. She's another victim. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? Yeah, I think so. There you are. Oh, oh hey, hey, I like your uh, your clothes. Sheesh, what are you guys For doing? Enough. I've been looking everywhere. Um, yeah. Oh, was well, fault. there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? <laughs> I oh. kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Yeah. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. Yeah. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. <laughs> Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. <laughs> well... I mean, when you put it like that... I think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. God, yes. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Yeah. I mean, it is a cop's job and it, it, it does make sense to them at the release, but... Yeah. Dude, don't snap at me. <laughs> yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Yukiko's the victim here, dammit, not the suspect. Mm-hmm. They both seem agitated. Look, we need... Well, let's all calm down. We need to save her. Okay? Okay. Look, we need to save her. Right! That's the important thing! Mm hmm? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. Yes. I'm going to! Uh. And that's final! I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what! Are you gonna be all right? Mm. Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Uh, Jessica, you still have your monkey wrenches and well, well, no monkey wrenches. I don't know what you have, and I still have my golf club. They still serve as good weapons. Weapons? Oh. Oh, I know just the place. Okay. I'll take Come that on, as a name. Follow me. Where did you find a place for? We oh, wait. Well. Ooh, fancy. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going to a place like this. Here we are. 
What kind of shop is this? Uh, blacksmith? Uh, metalworks, huh. I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Hmm. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... <laughs> You know what? I think you're right. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Yeah, but I think you just listening to that because you watch too many kung fu movies and you were interested, aren't you? <laughs> Don't try to deny it, Chie. Here, this one looks good. <laughs> but it might be too heavy. Yeah. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! Mm. You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. Yeah. I'm going, and that's that! Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but stay behind us, alright? I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. <laughs> Try to do that in a, in a freaking... With, with freaking fog around it. Listen, I'm not kidding around. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna yeah. listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Especially now that I'm very... I'm in very hard. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Oh yeah, well, uh, aside from being on very hard... All right. <laughs> Yeah, aside from being on very hard, I am planning on installing that mod of of of, well, of the lunatic difficulty, basically making this ten times worse with better AI and all that. So yeah, look forward to that. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? <laughs> sure, buddy. I got your back. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Hmm. Oh, you received uh, 5,000 gems from Yosuke. Thank you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? <laughs> you know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. Yeah, fair enough. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Uh, Chie, how would I hide, um, uh, Katana? Oh wait, I know. <laughs> Thanks to a certain anime, you could hide the Katana on a guitar case. That makes for a pretty good sp uh, hiding spot. Or, well, just hide it uh, under, a um, a kendo... <laughs> well, a, a kendo case. It, it, that also works. I will think it's just a practice stick. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. Hmm. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Hey, have you come to see my art? Please, look around, take your time. Okay, buy weapons. Yusu, imitation katana? Will you purchase imitation katana? Yes. Do you want to get the imitation katana? Okay, I think I, I won't be... I'll... Yeah, I want to sell it. Okay, now just case, hunting Nara. Oh, yeah, he had bonky wrench. And yes. And that will be it, because I have no more to... Well, buy all the other stuff. So, let's think. Yeah, I yes. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the food court. I will. There's a bizarre door before you. Oh, it seems the others can't see the door. Oh, so it finally begins. Oh no, it's the log nose. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. Hmm. Oh, the velvet key in your pocket is shining. Ooh. 
the velvet room. Oh! We hey, have been I know expecting you. you. Yeah, I also have been waiting for this. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Yeah, that I have seen. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. Mm -hmm. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. Mm -hmm. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Ooh, goody. Our role is to facilitate that. Mm. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. <laughs> yeah, the fusion process. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Mm -hmm. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. Yeah, and this is you where have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. Yeah, that's basically the power of the wild card. So yeah, um, this is one of the main assets of the game: fusion. Per uh, well, combining fusion, uh, fusioning. Well, how's the word? Fusing personas. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. Mm -hmm. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. In other words, I need to level up my, well, level to have them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. Yep. And the, and the more advanced my social link is, the more experience I will get when I make them. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Okay. You recall that you have, that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. Yeah, basically like one or two more levels. The tome you see in my hand oh. is the Persona Compendium. Oh yeah, right, the Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. By money. <laughs> By a little bit of money, of course, but that would they will tell you. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, yeah, and, oh, with the and one more thing. Oh, yeah, and with the compendium, uh, we, we can see the lore of uh, the personas. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, oh. who will be helping you on your journey. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 and this is the new stuff. Hi there. Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Hello. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel that you met her somewhere before. Well, yeah, no shit. I met you somewhere. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Mm -hmm. Her soul is still very young and... <laughs> me explain, teenagers? Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Okay. As you can see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice. And forgive her for her impoliteness. Yeah, sure. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Oh, oh hell yes! This is what I've been waiting for! Mm. Yeah, we didn't have this in the original. And I have played a few per uh, more recent Persona games that have this, and man, this is so freaking useful. Using these cards will allow you to provide your Personas with new powers. Okay. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Okay. Marie will contact you at a later date. I'll be looking forward to it. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. Got it. Got it, boss. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The yes. coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. You don't have to be so prima about it again, man. I meant precisely what I said. 
Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Hmm. Please do not forget this. Okay. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Hmm. <laughs> I look forward to it. And uh, me too. Until then, farewell. One of my favorite personas in this game is Josh Tsune. And it's basically one of the most broken personas ever. Along with Alice and, well, Lucifer. And also Hellel. Okay, yep, I think this is going to be it for the episode. The next one will be tackling the. Well, we'll be trying to save Yukiko. Which will mean new. I'll have to face shadows and also a new boss again. And for that one, I'll be try I'll be up uh, well, uh, putting the mod of the Olympic mod, so it will be very hard with new AI and the difficulty, and also some changes on the UI. So stay tuned for that one. But until so until then, I bid you all adieu, everyone. Bye bye. Have a good day.